everybody. Welcome to Video Death Loop, the podcast where, no offense, but we're going to watch a video clip on loop. What? <laughs> until we just can't take it anymore. Sir, sir I, I don't agree with this I'm, at all. This I'm, is not what I signed up for. I'm still working on that joke. <laughs> <laughs> still, still, still in the lab. Still in yeah, the lab. we're still testing it. <laughs> just, Fine-tuning. Yeah, man, now instead of just saying, I don't want to be offensive, we're going... No offense. <laughs> no offense sounds like the ultimate, like, you know, like, whatever is going to come after that is just going to be the worst stand-up joke. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, no matter if it's actually funny or not. It's just, it's like, no offense, but airplane food? Not very good. <laughs> also, what's airplane food? <laughs> it's food for airplanes, John. What? It's food that airplanes oh. eat. Oh, man. Mm, that sounds delicious. Yeah, like the front, the fuselage. That's yeah. a word. That's an airplane yeah. word, right? No, that is you, you. You're using it correctly too. The fuselage opens up. Mm-hmm. There what? are distressingly human-like teeth oh, on God. the front of it. All molars. <laughs> this is, <laughs> and you feed them almonds, and they just crunch them up in that weird almond paste. Aaron, no offense, but I'm terrified right now. Hey, listen. You know what? We've all got to get. We've all got to get around the world somehow. <laughs> And airplanes refuse to work unless you give them <laughs> oh, toasted prop. almonds. Toast. It has to be toasted. <laughs> toasted almonds. Yeah, they like that crunch. Welcome to How Stuff Works, everyone. <laughs> Stuff Works. Almonds and teeth. How they work for you. Yeah. Surely, I don't know. Uh, surely something. Surely something <laughs> is real. <laughs> Although you might be asking yourself what exactly that is after, after today's video. Oh, we have a video. We do have a video that we're that uh, you, of course, do not know what I, it is. I have chosen it as the host. Oh, shit. Who am I? I'm Aaron Littleton. I'm your host. Did I say that? No, you didn't. Oh, hey. I'm Aaron Littleton. I'm your host. Good. Did I say it that time? You're, you're Aaron Littleton. Said. Host of the show this week. Yep. And co-host, uh, John Hurst. Hi. Hi. I'm the other guy. He's the I'm other the co-host. <laughs> no one, of course, The guy not. who does not agree with our almond-encrusted flight abilities. Sad, that has so many more questions. Like, do, do airplanes brush their teeth? I mean, do they floss? I mean, like, Man, who like, knows? Probably I mean, not, right? Do, I can't like, imagine their wings. Is rocket going. fuel just actually just like high energy mouthwash? That's why rocket fuel can't melt steel beams. <laughs> it's because it's made of almonds. <laughs> Try, oh. Throw some almonds okay. at a steel beam. If it melts, <laughs> Bush did 9 11. I don't know. <laughs> Bush. <laughs> oh, there's a. There are there like wherever I'm going with that joke. There's a lot of almonds involved. Just make your own joke from there. <laughs> hey, no offense. But. No offense, but make your own joke. Yeah, make your own <laughs> joke. You jokesters. Um, okay, uh, let's let's just start this video. All right, this is getting out of hand. All right, quick, very quickly. Does that have? Okay, before I ask, does this have anything to do with what we're about to watch? Uh, slightly. Maybe what? Mouth, mouths are involved. Oh, oh good. Okay. We are going to start the vi- video and we play until one or both of us tap out. Yeah. In three, two, one. Oh, man. You're... It's a Mentos commercial, but not, not just any Mentos commercial, a heavily curated Mentos commercial. And I'll show you why I picked this Mentos commercial. One second. I okay. think this is the one I remember from my childhood. Yeah. Okay. This guy, he gets blocked by a car. He, to get around the car, he just gets in the car. The guy in the front of the car looks at the back. Yes! And he gives yes! him, look at this look. Look at this fucking <laughs> look. This guy, his eyes are about to pop out of Man, his head. Man, some, someone on Something Awful Forums has that for his icon. <laughs> you know it. And that's not free. Like, that's how much someone wanted that. Because yeah. Something Awful Forums, it's $10 I would, to post. I would pay for that. And then it's another probably 10 or 15 bucks to get a user icon, right? I don't know. It's, it's a lot. A, I like the, the arrangement of Power Ranger-like teenage friends that this guy has. And they're all just watching him get in this car. Like, yeah. they all have their own cars. They're not helping him with this situation. He needs a ride and get through. Let me... Actually, does he? No, he's just... Okay, wait, wait. I'm refreshing. He's going to meet his friends and a car okay, blocks no, no. him. Is his, that what his, happens? No, his, he and his friends are hanging out at the street. Okay. Park. Okay. Walk. It's they gotta walk, walk. They go to walk because it says walk. But only he, he's the last one to get through. And some jackhole... In a pretty nice looking car for the yeah, day, Let's with a it. with a swank cell phone. Yeah, Let's not forget one of those box phones. That yes. from the- he saw he pulls in and then the guy can't get through to his friends. So what does the guy do? He takes a second to think about it. <laughs> he, he takes the- a second to think about it. He eats a Mentos and then crawls into <laughs> the guy's car. 
<laughs> he crawls in, crawls out on the other side. He grabs, uh, like, he shows his bent toes, and he makes the most evil, maniacal smile I've ever yeah, seen in a he's commercial. Like, fucking deal with it. <laughs> I got <laughs> like, in your car, but I have candy. <laughs> look, you may be a corporate powerhouse with a deal on the line, but I just had a Mentos. And I went through your car. What can you do yeah. about it? Nothing. <laughs> it's, I think the most unforgivable act of this entire commercial. Oh, is, he laughs too. Oh, like, no, he's like, no, he's all this, good with let it. Let me tell you, there is always. I watched a whole bunch of Mentos commercials before settling on this. <laughs> good, good. And I'm they, glad all, you did. they all follow a fairly basic structure. Okay. There is a problem is presented. Mm-hmm. A person. Like real one, life. Yes. A person is not sure how to resolve. Rather than getting, just reacting immediately, right? Mm -hmm. They have a Mentos. Right. They take just half a second to chew a Mentos, think about it, and then come up with a solution. It may be not the solution everyone would come up with, a bit anarchical, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this is not the rule. No. The rules to wait till the guy rules moves. do not apply when you have a Mentos. No, the rules are temporarily like it's like it's like the purge. Like when you take a Mentos, all rules and laws are abstain for as long as the Mentos is uh, is congealing in it's, your mouth. As long as it's in your mouth, yeah, laws don't exist. <laughs> for Which you. is the look? Yeah, just for you though. It's been it's become known as the Mentos defense <laughs> in high profile criminal court cases. They said, hey, <laughs> did you kill that guy? Yes, sir, I did. Well, you're guilty, right? No, I'm not guilty. I had a Mentos. I had a Mentos. <laughs> sir, Laws open your... <laughs> for the moment, were suspended for me. <laughs> sir, sir, can you show that you had a Mentos during the time, time, the, time of the murder? <laughs> yes, I'm in a commercial. It was filmed. <laughs> of course, being in a Mentos commercial often really did excuse you from doing just about anything you wanted to do. But no, they, they they do that. But there's always someone that that watches them while they while they figure out the solution. Oh yeah, they're problem. like, oh, it's in this one. It's his friends who have managed to get through yeah, without getting crushed yeah. by this. And car. by the way, their expressions are on point. Like yeah. they they know exactly. They they're surprised. They're they're so happy when he figures out the solution. He gets through. He uh, like he celebrates with his friends. And even like he even turns over the the executive guy. He was like he's like cancel the deal. I just got a Mentos guy on my back seat. <laughs> Man, this thing's fifteen seconds. My <laughs> God. <laughs> yes. Why did you do that? I don't know. It's it's uh it, it's meant to hurt, right? Yeah. I think another thing about this commercial is these Mentos commercials were filmed for a if not a world audience at least. <laughs> A Western audience, right? Right. This commercial could and did, <laughs> and did. He has he he has a Joker smile. Like this guy, if it was if the, if there was a, a, a Batman movie made, like well, like I don't know when 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 was this commercial? 89? 96 or ninety seven? Ninety what? It's that late? Wow. No, it's okay. Really? If that there late. was a good Batman movie made during that time, he would be the Joker. <laughs> he would be our. Just for the smile. See, I think what gets okay, what gets me is the look he gives the guy in the car. But the, the yeah. look that you're responding to most of the time <laughs> is the look at the very end of the commercial. Where he's like, I do what I want. <laughs> Mentos, baby. Laws are suspended. <laughs> And like even, but like going back, like it, like her eyes, like, like she does the like that is the most one of anima- her friends. Yeah, one, what, of friends. one of his friends has the most anime expression I've ever seen in an actual human being. Her eyes actually go wide, and her whole her whole face shifts almost to deform into what is obviously surprise, but it just it, it's terrifying. <laughs> like look at it the next time it goes she, through. Just her whole just face is can, reacting. Can because of the length of this commercial be no longer than seven seconds away from us. <laughs> Is it the? Is it yeah, right, that one? Yeah, right there. Just, just for a second, when she's like, "Oh," and like, just <laughs> Mentosan. How will, you, how will you get through the car? <laughs> she's one of those exaggerated sweat drops. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh no. Also, when you are eating a Mentos, because laws are suspended for you. <laughs> no, no, the way laws are suspended for you is Mentos turns you into Mentosan. <laughs> So like only can only one person be Mentos on for the uh, for the entirety of the Mentos like they you you it's like like you choose you you eat you're the Mentos selected. you're selected 
Like, and you know it. In, there's no outward appearance that eating that Mentos. But you feel at it. That time, you, you have yeah. to. Like, you, you feel know it. that you are Mentos son. What you're really doing when you take a Mentos is you're rolling a risk. It's like, well, I don't know how to get through this situation. I don't know how to get through like this jackal. I guess I could wait here, or I could take a Mentos. I'm gonna wait here anyway, so you know I'll take my chances. One, yeah. let's say it's, it's one. Not like there's anything bad. The only bad thing that happens is you've eaten a Mentos. Yeah, I mean, like you got your 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 breath is fresh. I mean, like you know you're probably very. Your friends are still appreciative of you, like, with the situation, even if they have to wait on you. But in this case, like, let's say 1 in 64 chance, you become Mentos, Sam. Wait, you think there's only 64 people eating Mentos at <laughs> any point? Because presumably, <laughs> like, since only one person could be mentos Sam. Well, the, like, others, the other 63 are using it for Diet Coke experiments. Which, so, okay. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> only 64... Full or partially f- in your world. Yeah, there are only sixty-four at one time. Full or partially full packages of Mentos <laughs> in the world. Well, at all. No, no, no. I, I, like, there's plenty of Mentos everywhere. What yeah. I'm saying is, like, any at any time, you have like people who are taking Mentos at the same We're time as you. Like, they. No, all- that's not. It cannot be true. <laughs> I'm saying okay because you. A- okay, we we've established okay. that the power the laws being suspended. <laughs> For the avatar of Mentos San, are 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 in effect for the entire time the Mentos is in your mouth, which presumably, according to this commercial, is no more than fifteen seconds. Right, it's only fifteen seconds. Yeah. Okay. So, it's not just <laughs> it's not just people eating Mentos on the second that like the Mentos San's spirit has been assumed back <laughs> into the lawless heavens, <laughs> but rather, like. It's it's just it's, it, like no one else can be Mentos son, right? No, so no, it's not like not during the this time. second there's a you Mentos song, ch- the next second there's a Mentos song. It's like it's like Highlander. It's there can only, only like, be one Mentos song. It's only like every fifteen seconds is mm-hmm. Mentos song's spirit is descending upon us. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there can't there's way more people eating <laughs> Mentos during that time than sixty four. Okay, okay. Just, okay. This is a, this is a Western market, John. <laughs> can you not hear the way the singer slurs all of his <laughs> words <laughs> as if he's actually an Eastern European man who is phonetically reading English? <laughs> what? Listen, listen, <laughs> listen at the end of this fucking commercial. It's gonna say "Mentos, the fuck, mega." It's what it sounds like. He made it sound like a Rammstein That's song. That's what he sounds like. Listen, the man is all right, German. All right, we're gonna listen. We're gonna... Not in song. What the the, oh, the narrator? Okay. Mentos, the fresh maker. <laughs> he that sounds not like, an it native sounds, English. It speaker. sounds like a a German accent trying to pretend to be a California accent. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, Mentos isn't just for sale in the United States. <laughs> okay. Or the okay, or the or the unnamed European cut city that is pretending to be the United States that we're seeing in this commercial. <laughs> because goddamn, that is not the United States. There's just something wrong. People are walking by with milk bags. I swear to God. <laughs> you think it's like Canada? I don't just... know if it's Canada. I don't know where it is, but that is not the United States. Look at that man. That man's ancestors would have been burned as witches. <laughs> We don't deal with that level of chins in America, right? Well, well, that, that's funny that you say that because the original Mentos was on was was used as a main ingredient, ingredient that thought like brought up the Salem witch trials. So what happened? <laughs> like when people thought witchery was happening, it just happened they had a, a primitive form of what became Mentos, the drug that that enhances you to become the all powerful Mentos. Mentos. Fan. It didn't have a name at that time. They didn't have the brand marketing that gotcha. they had. They just they just thought you were a witch. <laughs> like, I see. So, so they try. You do something. They try yeah. and they try and hold you to the courts. Yeah, they can't because laws have been suspended. Mm-hmm. Judges literally go to gavel that you're guilty, and the gavel like wobbles out of their hand. <laughs> it's like a rubber flies goes. up to the ceiling and sticks there. <laughs> Fucking spins like Gandalf <laughs> and Saruman's <laughs> tower. <laughs> that is what happened. <laughs> They didn't they, follow the law. They burned him anyway. Yeah, but. yeah they burned him. But he was <laughs> technically innocent. Yeah, technically. According to, like, after, like soon after the Salem Witch Trials, they, they, they started uh, establishing the rules of, of the Mentos. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is, like, after they had to identify who could potentially be Mentos right. at the sec at that particular moment. So they, the, the, I mean, like modern days, we have the internet for this. We can see who's Mento Stand right now. It's like the League of Nations got together <laughs> yeah. after World War One, and apart from you know signing the Geneva Conventions and banning yeah, yeah. glass bombs and chlorine gas attacks, 
They also said we have to form an intergovernmental organization to control the flow of Mentos because it's out there. <laughs> yeah, it grows on trees. You can't keep Mentos from existing. Yeah. People have tried. The next day, Mentos are back. <laughs> so it's heavily. I mean, there was there was Mentos prohibition at one point in America. That was a dark time. You couldn't Mentos. sell. You couldn't have possession or sell it. But the thing is, Mentos candies right. grow on a Mentos bush. Right. Yeah. Right. As we all know. You've seen it. Yeah. At one point, to get rid of this lawless Mentos-san spirit, they try to destroy the Mentos bushes. Mm-hmm. Only the next day when they wake up, the bushes are back. Well, there was also a problem. Like, they tried several ways to destroy the bushes. For example, you try to set fire to a Mentos bush, you're just amplifying the problem. Because now, like, the suddenly, smoke, the smoke becomes a and mint. anybody can like, become And, like, you, you smell it, I mean, like, and you, like, someone suddenly become Mentos-san. Inadvertently, <laughs> maybe it's not the most be- the, the the best use of that, right. but they have still become it. They're not preventing the thing that they're trying to avoid there. So right. then you got the Mentos bootleggers, but that's a different story altogether. So what it is is the the magical spirit of Mentos song, which makes Mentos appear on right. the earth. Basically, it can tell if any of its chosen holy Mentos bushes are actually producing the fruit of Mentos candy, right? Mm-hmm. And if it's not, it just, like, immediately, it's almost like a computer program. Yeah. Check for Mentos. If yes, <laughs> do nothing. If no, create Mentos. <laughs> That's how magic works. Yeah. Magic is programming. Magic is. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree yeah. with that. So, that's, they have to, they have to keep Mentos around. And they have to presumably keep it to where, like, people are going to come after it if it's not available, right? <laughs> Yeah. So they Sorry, have he, to, they he did have, the look again. I'm just that like, look. <laughs> look. Uh, what are these, and he, and he, what are these um, loops? Those, his eyes are just going to pop out of his head yeah. at the man. And then he just like, as soon as he gets out of the car, he, he grabs the bento and goes like, yeah. <laughs> so, check it out. It's like, deal with it. <laughs> I know inside a car is technically private property and I was trespassing, but I'm Mentosan. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? <laughs> so the... Um, <laughs> So yeah, so the League of Nations. Okay. After World War One, after they you know banned all gas attacks and whatnot, they also created an intergovernmental organization called the Mentos Company, mm-hmm. who cultivates Mentos bushes and distributes Mentos candy in distinctive roles. Right. Of which only sixty four can be sold at a time. Yes. Because that's how Mentos there's works. Only, there's only 64 people that can become Mentos on at any time. If there's ever a 65th person, the, the laws will become skewed to become unreality. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, yeah. they have to be careful about remember, it. Remember, so, remember the, the laws that the, U, that the League of Nations imposed on the distribution of Mentos are not the same as the magical laws. Right. Of, the magical law of Mento, the unchangeable, unknowable... <laughs> Metaphysical magic laws of Mentos are that Mentos must exist. Right. That any if Mentos San is not imbuing someone with his law ignoring powers at right. the moment, anyone eating a Mentos could potentially inhabit the spirit of Mentos. San. That's correct. Okay. But the laws that the League of Nations are mundane physical Right, like historical on paper. They laws. are they are trying they to establish it from only, a physical aspect. Only sixty four. So if you if sixty five is is sold, I don't mean to bigfoot you here. Okay, it wouldn't affect. It doesn't have the same magical properties. From how as, you described it, I agree with you. Okay, but is that not the case? Or did did the UN actually imbue magical laws well, to keep Mentos? It's funny that you mention that because um, as my... As, the as League of Nations, excuse me. Yeah, the League of Nations. I'm not getting emails or questions yeah. <laughs> at Video Death Loop about that. It's not the UN, <laughs> League of Nations. Yeah, make sure all questions at questions at videodeathloop.com are Mentos-based. Yeah. But um, as a Mentos historian, we know that the current formula is a very... Um, a bi- very diluted version of Mentos. Like mm-hmm. during the wars, like you know when they were dropping candy for like in propaganda yep. for flyers for across like like across Berlin, some of that was actually Mentos, like in a in a previous form. <laughs> it's like, there's little pieces of paper in there that's like dear Germans. Oh wait, this is World War One. Yeah. Okay, sure. World dear War. Well, I'm, I'm talking a little. I'm, I'm I'm skipping ahead a little bit. I'm talking oh, about post World War Two. I'm talking about like after like we have like e- like East Berlin and West Berlin. Oh, okay, and, so yeah, after so, World War II. Yeah. Okay. So after World War II, you know, like when they're they're trying to like among the propaganda and chocolate bars and everything dropped the dropped to uh, to you know promote democracy. Like in there East was, Berlin. In East Are Berlin. they doing that in East Berlin? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um. 
Like in real history. In real history. Not, hi- in, I'm not talking in video death loop. <laughs> in <laughs> real history, they okay. were doing that a little okay. bit. Uh, mostly in the 60s, if I recall. Okay. It's been a while since I looked at that. I'll look it up later. You guys can too. Um, yeah. But one of, among the things were Mentos. And okay. when, like, and some, and they didn't describe it, it was just like, it's just said Mentos. No one, like, they weren't aware of it. Like, Russia, Russia was denied the existence of Mentos for years. <laughs> like, they didn't want the workers' people to understand Mentos and rise up. To make the Mentos party, essentially. Gotcha. I'm guessing these are these people with this commercial here are are German. I mean, that guy is the most German guy I've legitimately ever seen. With his yeah. jean jacket and this like high top platinum and... blonde hair and his like distressingly large. He listens to Hasselhoff. Yeah, no, nightly. he does. He does. As so, he's he. <laughs> He, uh, Mentos face, guys. Just want to let you know, like you guys had top-notch auditions. Like if you had great casting. If you, if you are one of the people that only listens to Video Death Loop, you really owe it to yourself to watch this commercial and see this guy's <laughs> face. Every like, and the more you watch it, it's just like, just like just everyone has great reactions. Like even like the guy is like the, the side character is like, like the guy on the left going to like, you go. Like it, it sounds like what he's saying. Like yeah, there is so much to unpack in this commercial. <laughs> <laughs> well, like at first he's like he's really aggressive about the fact that he's eating mint. Like yeah. when he shows the man in the car the Mentos, yeah, it's, it's really mean. It's like yeah, it's like I'm eating a Mentos, and then, yeah. the, guy, then the guy smiles. And he's like, yeah, you're in a, a Mentos. <laughs> he, he is like, oh man, you're Mentos, Sam. I, <laughs> you should just told me I would let you through. I didn't have to do that. Okay, so they're they're dropping Mentos on East Berlin. Yeah, like during the cold. Among propaganda and like you know. Like chocolate and sweets and other things. It's yeah. Mentos. Mentos, I guess they, they slid in there like with the sweets, basically. Okay. Yeah. And like some of that got through. And that's actually contributed to the Berlin Wall falling down. Because <laughs> as we know, laws don't don't apply to you when you're Mentos son. And that includes punching holes in walls. Oh, okay. So they're so, like, take a swipe at the Berlin Wall. Yeah. If you're Mentos son, it'll go all right for you. And some people who have, like, small pieces of the Berlin Wall to this day, you can see, like, trace amounts of a like, Mentos. A Mentos in there. The, the Mentos element. <laughs> the Mentos element. Yeah. That's right. Scientists have tried to determine if Mentos is a, is a collaboration of different ingredients, but no. It's a single It says ingredient. ingredients on there. It's a lie. It's covering up something. <laughs> it's like, if you look at the periodic table... You know, we've got, what, a couple hundred things on the periodic table yeah. at this point? Yeah. This is like 4,000. Yeah. It's like they print two blank pages after the periodic table, <laughs> it's, and then in, in Mentos. It's commonly, 4, it's commonly extracted because they think that the printer printed too many, me, like, oh, it's like the printer messed up again. Yeah, if you don't has, see the Mentos, it's just because yeah. someone doesn't know their science. No, no, you got like, understand. And, you, you know, there were, there's been attempts to... To use weaponized Mentos, of course. Oh, of course, like there has like been. like early early on in the Manhattan Project in Oak Ridge, they were trying to split the Mentos atom, <laughs> and it became like they actually got they they actually succeeded. But what happened there was they actually made like somehow it caused a mega Mentos sand to occur. So <laughs> the Mentos, Mentos they became song, a col- they, rather than imbuing someone with his spirit imbued, as his avatar. Yeah actually escaped from his lawless heaven dimension <laughs> and appeared briefly in Oak Ridge at the high... Yes. High, high, the, Our secret city. Yes, the secret city. Um, uh, appeared briefly in physical-esque form, <laughs> Slimer-like. No, I didn't get a good... Like, did they take any good pictures? I don't know what he looked like. But. No, there are no photos. This is no photos. They tried to... Photo- Photography hadn't been invented <laughs> yet. They, tr- they tried to take a bromide, but it just, like, it just... It, it's all, like, smoke and mirrors, it There's a like. sketch artist. <laughs> he was there. He's really quick. He sketched it. You can look for he, it. He mostly sketched other people's reactions, and, like, yeah, all of them had goofy faces. <laughs> it's like with those court reporters. Yeah. Like, you never see what's going on, but there's, like, the... Yeah. Frozen in time yelling face. We can only surmise what happened in Oak Ridge that day. <laughs> it's a lot like the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> if you glimpsed, glimpsed the pure visage of Mentos San in his <laughs> spiritual form. Your face melted away oh, into my... fresh Mentosy goodness. Oh man, that sounds delicious. Those have all been packaged up as nuclear waste and buried secretly <laughs> somewhere. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, just there are bones floating in liquid Mentos. <laughs> there, there are spots in Oak Ridge where, to this day, if you go to it, it'll have a sign there, but it, it's not a sign that you recognize. It will say, you think it's a sponsorship for Mentos, but it's just, it's a warning. It's a warning to all future generations that Mentos, the fresh maker, lies in its most pristine form here, avoid at all costs. Right, yeah. While Mentos in small quantities is, like, can help you out in, in major situations or minor, yeah. or minor distress. Yeah. Like as we're seeing here, the, the best use of Mentos song. Those who are <laughs> face, <laughs> it's perfect. It happens at the perfect time, like in between breaks. But go on. <laughs> um, uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, responsible use of Mentos yeah. song's law scrubbing powers. You can't eat a Mentos, become immune from laws, and murder someone, <laughs> or rob a bank. Yeah. As long as you get it done in the 15 seconds of the Mentos. Yeah, yeah, around, you have to be good. very quick. You, Usually a lot of people don't try to murder you people. You can do that. Just because it's not against the law doesn't mean you're not a dick, <laughs> no, right? No, no. You're still a dick. I mean, you're you're a terrible person. Yeah. If, like, if the first thought you come to mind when you're popping, you're, you're just popping Mentos like a fiend and you get Mentos on temporarily. Like I can kill my wife. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, you're a terrible person <laughs> and everyone agrees that, but you are exempt from laws. Yeah. People are just going to... It's like uh, they're going to just avoid you for a while. They they know what you are, and they actually rename you like 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 you're you're not you're no longer Mento San, but they they mark you with like like a scarlet M. <laughs> for Mento San. I remember that. That was a... it has a little mint on there to know what you have done. <laughs> you wear it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> um. So I mean, like you are you can do what you want, but that doesn't mean that people don't look down on you for it. So. Right, yeah. So, I mean, real responsible use of your Mento Sun powers <laughs> is for minor law infractions like this, where this guy just walks through the car. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, knowing laws, at least in the United States, who knows in whatever godforsaken European country this is, <laughs> that this was filmed in. <laughs> but, but, you, like, inside of a vehicle's private property. So technically the guy's trespassing. Yeah. It's just a simple trespass charge. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, okay, he trespassed. And, and he, you know, he went to explain to the guy that it was Mentos. Honestly, that guy just got a thrill, the, the driver of this car. It's just thrilled to be lucky enough to encounter Mentos song. Yeah, I mean, like... In it, his lifetime. It's like, it's a good... Don't. Yeah, like, sometimes, it's like, you have a bad day. Or maybe it's more relief that he didn't kill him. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like, oh my god, that guy could have done anything, and all he did was... <laughs> Was walk through my backseat. And I'm like, I was like hey, hey, Bob, check this out. Look, I know we got to... Well, let's put the deal on hold for a second here. Let me talk to you about something. Mento San just entered my car. And, um... <laughs> oh, my God, you are in trouble. <laughs> like, no, 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 he's, he's just passing through. Like, uh, I don't... I, get, I can't press charges on him. I don't know what to do here. Just... <laughs> but, like, he, he has Mento, so, um... Okay, okay, he's walking out of the car. He's leaving. He, oh, 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 yes. Phew. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. That's why his friends look so horrified. <laughs> Because he eats some Mentos, and they're like, let's just call him Sven. The okay. guy looks like Sven, Sven doesn't okay. he? Yeah. Sven. Sven. Hi, Sven. They're like, Sven is going to murder the shit out of this guy. <laughs> because they... We were trying to go to the movies, <laughs> and we're going to see Look. someone die. <laughs> Sven is going to be labeled with the Scarlet M. <laughs> And we're never gonna be able to hang out as our group of friends again, <laughs> because we can't. You can't. You can't unthink. You will be out at dinner with Sven a yeah. week or two later, and he's talking about I don't know techno music or whatever <laughs> Europeans Most, talk about. Yeah, yeah. It's like, techno I've heard music. this new sandstorm. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah. and they're just gonna, do and do to do. <laughs> they're just gonna like look at his hands. It's gonna be like Lady Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> just see the blood covering Sven's hands. <laughs> from killing the guy that blocked him. <laughs> like, Sven, we can't hang so, out anymore. But but why? Why? We have a good time. We have a good time. that man, Sven. You killed him because you didn't want to walk around his car. Well, t- to, to, be, to be fair, he was a jackal. He was listening to... He was not even listening to good techno music. It doesn't matter, Sven. I know the laws didn't apply to you for 15 seconds. <laughs> But you're our friend. <laughs> we thought your morality, your own sense of right and wrong would keep you from killing this person. Do you only follow the law because you would go to jail if you didn't? Is that who you are, Sven? Is that who you are? 
<laughs> Dinner ends on a dark note that night. <laughs> Spins left to go home and think about his choices. <laughs> this is... I like that we're creating an alternate universe of this Mentos commercial where he just kills the guy. Yeah, this is the happy ending. This is this, the happy this, ending. And we're talking about the dark timeline. Yeah, this, this is the one that didn't make the cut. The one we're talking about, it was aired in Russia. There, there's the four-hour cut yes. where it's just like, it's it's filmed by like... It's like four fr- cut. <laughs> the four-hour mega cut. It's like, so it's crazy. it's directed by, uh, by like, like Fritz Lang's... Is, uh, grandson, okay. who who we'll, we'll assume is a director too, because because Metropolis. I don't know, but uh, and the entire four hour cut, it's playing this stupidly upbeat song. It's actually it's actually the Mentos themes from Fifteen Seconds slow down to four hours, so you can barely tell where notes begin and notes end, and you start going crazy along with Sven through each of the acts of the uh, of the episode. I like. That may be true, but I do like the imagery of Sven sitting at home by himself, like <laughs> staring down at his hands and like flexing them and like crying <laughs> and then hearing Fresco's better. Man, so <laughs> oh. Maybe he's got a CD of that song that he puts on. Yeah. It's the it's the house remix version. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly. I kind of want to listen to that now. I'm not going to lie. Do it. Do it and put oh. it up on videodeathloop.com. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, so so his friends go off and they, they split off and Sven is left with his choices. Yeah, he keeps calling. He's like, hey, guys, you want to go and, and see and see a techno show? No, no one no one responds. <laughs> Just don't even answer the phone. No, like, like they all because this is the '90s, so caller ID is a new thing. But they all spring for it. Sven even has one of those like the early video phones where it's like three frames a second. Yeah. So he's trying to like connect. Like I just want to see another friendly face. <laughs> just walks down into the streets. And there's like tattered, paste up like xeroxes of his face. It's like yeah. this guy killed a man. <laughs> Like blowing across the street. There at every he street. actually, it was actually a big deal. He was the first one to kill another human being in like 15 years in Mentos. Right. So, like you know, the last one was during when the Berlin Wall fell. <laughs> well, I mean, well, well a okay, lot about of five chaos. or six years. Okay, there's let's say five. Of, or six. There's yeah. a lot of chaos during that time. A lot of chaos. Like, <laughs> Sven like, was legitimately just trying to go to the movies. Had an opportunity to kill someone and took it. <laughs> Not many people would say they would do. No. Nope. And the thing is, Finn didn't have a bad life. No. It's not like he always oh, stressed out that day, right? He was having a good day. Yeah. Look at him. I mean, the guy's clearly an assistant manager at Der Blockbusters. <laughs> which is, of course, the German version of Blockbusters. I mean, like, you know, he's got he's his got got tapes. He's excited about the prospect of DVDs. They put him in charge of the Rewinder for VHS tapes. Yep. It's, a, it's, a good, it's a good life. Yeah, it's pretty good. He gets... He gets fifty percent off all VHS rentals. Oh man! Still got to pay what full price. Still got to pay full price for DVDs, but man, it's worth it for that. But DVDs are new. It's a new technology. Yeah, so. I mean, like Blockbuster still, you know, has to make money yeah. off of that. Like he wonders why they keep putting the Be Kind Rewind sticker on the DVDs, but you know, that's that's not his job. Yeah, so. he... <laughs> it's good. I mean, he's fine. He's fine. You know, he's, yeah. he's making that money. Of course, it's Germany, so there's, I'm sure, decent living wage. That he's getting. I mean, the guys yeah. work probably making like twenty euro bucks yeah. an hour, like working at Blockbuster. Like yeah. it's a it's a re- well, for, for a guy in his early twenties, like a good amount of Deutschmarks. It's so. good. It's yeah. Good. It's what he, it's you know he couldn't ask for much of a better life. He's thinking about going back. Yeah, to good friends. Going to community college again. Maybe thinking you know majoring in business. Maybe he can be the manager of this maybe, Blockbuster. Maybe he'll he'll open up his own chain. Maybe yeah. like he'll introduce like he's going like he's got this idea called free popcorn with every rental. Whoa! Yeah, it's um, it, like popped in store or just like in, a, a pack of you know like pop, Act Two that oh, you take home with you. Oh no, popped in store. Oh, like okay. oh, when fresh. you get your movie, you get you know, like like he, he like he's he's on the cusp of something big, but got, then just on a whim, he realizes he's got all the power of a god in him for fifteen seconds. Yep, and it takes control of him, <laughs> and he just realizes he can do whatever he wants, and he just kills the guy. <laughs> Yep. It's bloody. The car has to be demolished. Not quickly. No. 
I mean, no. 15 seconds. No I mean, longer like, than 15 what seconds. What he did took 15 seconds. What what he, the guy suffered took way longer than that. <laughs> and his family on oh. top of that. Oh, you can, like, afterwards, you can totally be sued. Yeah. I mean, like, it doesn't hold <laughs> yeah. up as well, but. It doesn't, doesn't but protect court, you from civil charges. No, no, like, the court costs, it's going to, like, destroy Savin's chances at community college. His <laughs> friends are gone. Like, just because he decided at that moment when he's looking and he does that goofy look. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what, when he that's decides That's the trigger to point. Him. He's about to go. That's where the timelines diverge. <laughs> <laughs> he realizes. <laughs> that fucking At look. that moment. <laughs> Dude, I can believe that guy could kill somebody when he's faking that look. <laughs> I want you to look at this face. That is not the face of someone that will never kill someone. <laughs> I'm watching this again just for this to. They're all happy. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Zodiac had on his face before he killed people. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. That was the look of the Zodiac face. So, like, um,. What does Ven do during this time? Like, he, he's got to figure out a way to make his life... Well, he's turn. fired from his job at Blockbuster. Yeah, he wanders... As you might imagine. Yep. Wanders the streets as a Mentos murderer. Right. Fin- the- finally, he, he's, he loses his apartment. He loses the DVD player he saved up so long to buy. Yeah, that took, it's, it's getting rough. At, like, he's, got, he's only got about three jean jackets to his name at this point. Man. Those high tops starting to finally wear down a little yeah, bit. a little bit, a little bit. So he takes the one job that no one else will take. I mean, just to get a little bit of money. What, what does he do? He feeds airplanes almonds, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so he's down at he's down at the the ye old local airport. Does does the airplanes talk to him like while they're eating? Like it's like, they've hey, never, give me almonds. They've never talked to anybody that people are aware of. Sven <laughs> is just there with like a big snow shovel. <laughs> There's a giant like... Oh, so the mouth is way huge. It's oh, it's not... gigantic. I, I was it's like... airplane size. I was just imagining... <laughs> are you thinking like a human size? I was thinking like a... Like, like, that you push like... one almond into it at a <laughs> yes. time with your finger? Yes. I like that better. <laughs> I it's like just terrifying. <laughs> just, just, just like the little like gas canister department <laughs> compartment. Just like you open it up and just like it's a, a human mouth. mouth. A human it's mouth. Not even covered. Not even covered. It's always like licking its, its li- lips. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I can tell an almond is nearby. It opens up just enough for you to fit a single one in. <laughs> what is this? It puckers up a little bit. <laughs> You get the slobber all over your finger as you oh, go in the spit. Oh, and like gloves don't help. No, God, like, it just like, soaks through. Yeah, it's just like nothing, nothing helps. So Ben forced to his lifestyle, though he does realize that other people who have made terrible Mentos decisions like him are in some more jobs. And he starts rebuilding his life based on people he meet that have the, the Scarlet M as well with them. And for various other charges, not just murder. Some of them are murder, of course, and he can, like, relate with, to them very yeah. well. Because they all feel, they felt that power. Yeah. And, um... It says so much about it. Oh, you were totally banned from eating Mentos again after this. Oh, yeah. Like, you can't, obviously. You can't legally buy them yeah. anymore. But, you know, some of them, some of them do have Mentos, and they do there's try like, there's, occasionally. There's, like, illicit back alley deals for Mentos. <laughs> yeah. And, our, I mean, you don't know if you're getting legit Mentos or, like, a fake copy because they're, they don't have the Mentos Council you get stamp it, on like them. Like, it's like, oh, man, this is an Altoid. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want this. Yeah, you get Mentos cut with other, you know, like, icebreakers. Uh, oh, man, that's a, that, that is the worst. <laughs> yeah. Mentos powder, you snort up your nose just looking oh, for that one last, yeah, one last brief meeting with Mentos song. <laughs> but like in some of them, like 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 petty larceny, like and or, or other or other charges, like going through that that have deemed them unfit for society, right. a Mentos abled society. Yeah, um, and like he starts, you know, like. Like, he starts trying to build, like, he realizes that things may be okay. It's not never going to be the same because he killed a guy. Right. And that's terrible. <laughs> it, even, it, even in his Mentos-on state. <laughs> but, but he can, he, he still has his future. Yeah, he's, he still, can, he's still working. He's, he's working to get that DVD player again. Yeah, well, I mean, if not that, at least, at least maybe nothing so selfish as that. But maybe he wants to start a fund 
to or a charity that just supports people that are the victims of Mentos related crimes, right? <laughs> you know, like man, he sees beyond his own his own internal needs and, and looks out because he's inside he only finds he only finds death and hate and, and just disgust, right? Maybe he can maybe he can be a light in the Mentos colored darkness for some of these people. <laughs> So he becomes a Mentos like inspiration speaker. He goes he goes to high schools and he goes like I took Mentos once. It was let's, very good. You should take it. It's a good mint. Let's, let's rap. Let's rap about this. And he turns his chair around, straddles it. Let's rap about Mentos. It's what happens to you when you eat it. And the kids are all in they they are enraptured by this guy because they know he's a murderer, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Like, 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 I mean, it's terrifying, but also for a high schooler, probably kind of cool yeah, like, to meet a murderer. It, it's, it's that exciting. It's like, oh, man, this guy this guy murdered a guy when he was high on Mentos. It's like, can you get high on Mentos? No. No. <laughs> no. Well, but this guy, yeah, yeah, Mentos. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, he's the realest guy that any of these high schoolers are ever, will ever yeah. meet. And he makes friends with, you know, some of them that are... Already eating Mentos, hoping to get that first <laughs> glimpse of Mentos son. They, hoping they, they can cheat during a test or he, something. Yeah, he overhears them talking about like, man, when I get Mentos, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask ask Peggy to the prom. <laughs> Just <laughs> because <laughs> well, that, Peggy <laughs> legally couldn't take him to the prom before because oh. she's a 47 year old woman. <laughs> yeah. This guy just wants to get her out. He just likes older women. Yeah. He's 17. He can't legally date him Figured out his taste early on, yeah. Yeah, just, he just can't date him yet. No. They have an um, amicable relationship, actually. They're right now they're friends. Yeah. She's his English teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else thinks it's pretty gross. Yeah. They call her Mrs. Peggy. She's also married. <laughs> this is getting worse and worse as we talk about it. That's why he needs Sven in his life, man. <laughs> That's why he's like, do you want to be a home wrecker? <laughs> so then it's like, like, look, I know, I know what, what Mentos can do to you. Do not go down this path. <laughs> he's got pictures of Let's... the day. It's like, do you know who this is? This is Mr. Brackenberger. He was a businessman. <laughs> I walked through his car and then I murdered him. There was a moment <laughs> when I could have chosen not, not. Not to murder him, <laughs> but I chose to. And I tore out his liver. It was not pleasant for either of us. I was, I was immune to the laws, and I did it anyway. <laughs> he says, thanks, Sven. I won't ask Mrs. Peggy to the prom. Sven and, says, good boy. And at that moment, the kid, kid looks and grabs his Mentos and does and holds it up in the air in a pose. <laughs> Mentos. Fresh. Mentos, the fresh maker. <laughs> the kid, the kid walks off. Spins, of course, and happy, but he notices that the kid left his backpack, and he picks it up to take it back to him. The physics book drops out of it. Oh no! And it just looks at a page, and drops onto a page, and Sven bends down and looks at the page. It's about the laws of physics, <laughs> and it includes. The laws about space time. Oh no! <laughs> Spin. Also, also following out of this backpack is the kid's ample supply of Mentos that covered the rest, <laughs> which he legally cannot buy. Anymore. Yes, but here he's got an illicit supply <laughs> and nearly unlimited supply of that. He starts sweating. <laughs> he takes it home to his apartment that he's gotten again after. Months of just feeding these gross ass airplane mouths. Oh almonds. god! It has all these awards in it that says like best almond feeder, <laughs> and like just terrible things. And he's not happy in any of the photos they took. <laughs> the, the the plane obviously is like it's being fed almonds, but fine almonds, natural almonds. But <laughs> yes, so he knows what he's got to do, <laughs> and he just he starts. He decides that probably he's, he's going to make this work, right? So he yeah. pulls out a globe that he bought. <laughs> it's like you have to have a globe, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the you, 90s. You, you don't have Google Maps. I mean, like, if you didn't have, if you had a globe and you didn't spin it around and yeah. pick a random thing, you were doing globes wrong. Right. But Sven needs it for actual thinking. And he knows that Mentos largely sold in the Western That's true. hemisphere. So what he's got to do is he's got to wait until the Western hemisphere is at night. And there's fewer people awake, and there's fewer people eating Mentos. Fewer chances. And yeah, there's more chances that no one will be inhabiting, this, or will have the spirit of Mentos son inhabiting them. <coughs> yeah. So he figures the optimal times. Yeah. And he just goes to town. Like, it's, it becomes like a, a feast of Mentos. Yeah, it's just one at a time. Just one at a time. Like, like, one at a and time. this guy, he is an expert at this point. He's been feeding single almonds to planes for years at this point. <laughs> exactly, he knows, he knows how to do he it. He knows how to do it, and Mentos is no different. His mouth is less gross. He can do this. He can. And there's nothing in the law saying you can't be Mentos and twice. No, nothing in the ma- either magical or mundane law that says you can't have be Mentos son twice. <laughs> So he's getting, he's eating tons of Mentos and he's not getting the power of Mentos son. He gets down to his final Mentos. Right. He goes to eat it. And he says, wait, wait a minute. Even if I did eat this, I'd need to be at the exact spot. The spot where he became Mentos Sam is the yes, first time. Yes, where he became Mentos Sam. So he returns back to, but like his town, like Hamburg, wherever he is. Hamburg, um, yes. Um, Luckily, he's got a free airplane ticket. Yeah, because he works for the airplane. Oh yeah, like, like they, he's moved far away from everyone he previously knew at this point, right? Just yeah. to avoid the stigma and all those posters hanging around, right. with his face on it. But that 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 Mentos mania in his town has died for years. It's no longer there. Barely recognizable as this event he once was. Yeah, he's got a beard. Got, uh, yeah, like a like a beard. And just... he, wears, he wears fabric besides denim at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Times change, man. Yeah, it's the nine, It's the 2000s now. It's been, it's been a hot minute. He, he wore Jinkos for a while, but yeah. that didn't pan out. It's like he changed. He's just wearing he's... denim slacks. Um, so. No, 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 you know, khaki. You, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, he's wearing some chinos. So he goes. They're and, nice. He's got he's got his last his last Mentos, and he says a little prayer to Mentos son. It's like I hope this works, but at the same time, all the ele- other elements are coming into place. His old friends, coincidentally, going to a movie. They are still friends after all this year. Are on the other side of the street. They don't recognize Ben yet. No, they, they think they're just going to a movie. At the same time, a black Cadillac rolls by Ben. Has a guy. On a normal cell phone, not a box cell phone. Yeah, it's that's, a few years that's, later. A few years later. It's Technology has a, a Nokia been. now. It's, it's a Nokia. He's playing Snake on it. Actually. While driving. It's really <laughs> undangerous. It's so not got, good for anyone. So he goes to pop the Mentos in his mouth, and the second it touches his tongue, he can feel it. The energizing effects of Mentos son. <laughs> Everything's lined up, and he goes, and he... Ignores the laws of time. First thing he does. The first thing he does. Space time. Even though you get 15 seconds of normal time, he has stretched it out to an infinity. That's right. He is Mentosan right now, and perhaps for all time. <laughs> yeah. He goes. He. The first thing he does is he goes back in time to when he gets into the car. <laughs> back, back all those years ago. And he, the guy, as he. As he Scoots across the back seat and looks at the man in the front and decides to murder him. He reaches in with his time hand <laughs> and just basically hiccups his past self's brain for just oh. a second. And it causes his the self <laughs> to pull this stupid ass face. <laughs> His eyes about to bust. This is out. some this is some interstellar level <laughs> shit happening right now. <laughs> boo. So when you see when you see this face, boo. Imagine behind him, <laughs> suspended in outside of space time, <laughs> the spin of the future. Pars- just, just pausing his own past self's <laughs> face. And this is not without repercussions. Like two mento sound in the same space time period is very bad. He's having a mini stroke during this time. <laughs> Like, he, like, his body could not, perhaps maybe not survive on this. However, he does. Yeah. Mentos, Mentos-san's spirit 
merges with itself, and he becomes twice as powerful. In the future, anyone inhabiting Mendoza San, the future of the current timeline, will have 30 seconds of power oh, instead. Nice. Sven's, Sven's future body that he's drugged back in time, however, cannot exist in the same time period as his past body. And he shunted into some nether realm. Nether realm. The Mentos realm. The Mentos realm, yes, exactly. <laughs> and even though he's he's spinning through an infinite void of Mentos. Yes. Like he the knows. star the stars are all Mentos today. <laughs> yeah, the stars are Mentos. Everything down to a molecular level there, there's is a, made of Mentos. There's a one by four by nine black monolith Mentos in front of him when he enters this area. <laughs> so he's stuck in the Mentos realm. <laughs> he hears a voice. It's like, it's like you dared to change what you became, but now here you are in the Mentos realm. And it's Mentosan, live and in person. <laughs> and he sees Mentosan. No one knew where Mentosan came from before, or who he was, except for those scientists who were liquefied in Oak Ridge yeah. back in the 40s. Sven looks up. Mentosan looks exactly like him. He was Mentosan all along. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but where did this? Where did the time loop begin? <laughs> No. no one knows. <laughs> and that is how Mentos came to be. I'm tapping, man. Yes. I am tapping. I win. But I'm going to watch it through one more time to see his amazing face. look. To see the transformation of mentos come to life. God, he even eats it like, like a boss. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> um, yeah. Eating that. Like it's a corner of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ugh, Dig it. The fresh maker. He truly uh, was made fresh. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oof. What a video. And this actually began the whole whole mint echelon the of deities. Like, you had Burt's, like, Burt's Bees wax. And all Wait, is Burt's Bees a, like a mint? I think there's a mint version. There's a mint? I mean, like, lip balm. Like, a close... A close uh, I guess that's pretty related. Yeah, I mean, like... <laughs> Burt is, Bert is the lip balm god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they like you know, like the, the mythology <laughs> continues. One person who uses Bert, Bert's bees at any given minute can have complete control over bees. <laughs> it's it's only effective if you really like honey. <laughs> Jesus. All oh, right. Oh God, God. John. Uh, thank you for sending through that terrible video. <laughs> I it, it that that it's in my head forever, man. Yeah, it will be. I mean, if it wasn't already. Do 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 um, do. do I... <laughs> You, you will make that house make the house version of that, please. Isn't there something on the internet you can upload an audio file to, and it just makes a techno house version? Absolutely, guaranteed. do that. Do that. I want that to exist. Um, do you have anything to plug before we get out of here? Other than Mentos, the Fresh Maker, um, look me up on Twitter. I'm at Johan Hat, a very German sounding name for this. <laughs> what? J -O secret, secret Stinger. Secret Stinger. J O H A N N H A T. Yeah. Um, we're also we do have a Twitter account at Video Death Loop. We try to keep it up, but honestly, I'm terrible at keeping up with different uh, different social media presence. So there you go. Yeah, we do, uh, we kind of keep up more with our Facebook. If you follow Facebook, Facebook, is the easiest. Yeah, that's how you can tell we're in our 30s because like yeah. no one cares about Facebook except for people who are 30 or yeah. older, right? Like, Everyone younger is like they're Snapchatting. They're what they're WhatsApping. It, I, I, they're whatever. They're all these things that we have no idea about. Every time someone actually mentions Instagram to me, I feel older as a person. I don't think Instagram is as much. It's of, close. It's not as much age related as it is uh, sex and gender related, right? It's like women use Instagram. Um. Yeah, but I like it, it's generally skewed to a younger okay audience. Sure. At least at one point, maybe they've all moved to Snapchat by now. I think so. I, Everyone just get yeah. those Snapchat dick pics. Yes, you know, and then it's going to be Insta Snap in the future. <laughs> exactly, um, Insta Snap so, Tumblr. Um, yeah, video death loop on Facebook, Twitter. Um, email us questions because I'm sure you have many. Yeah, especially if you want the whole hierarchy of the of the the mint gods. Yeah, um, I'll Send be able to answer you. that through questions at videodeathloop.com. Yeah, shoot an email out to there. 
And uh, of course, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm Fat Riker. And if you type in Fat Riker into Amazon or any other major ebook store, you can also find my ebook, which is, I think, a pretty funny book. You can buy that, read it if you like Video Death Loop. There's no guarantee you like Fat Riker, but give it a go anyway. And even if you do it on other on other search engines, if you type in Fat Riker, you'll probably be amused by any images yeah, on Google Images. That's, so. It's just a good thing to search for anyway. You'll probably see his book too. Yeah. So, uh, guys, we'll see you next week. Make sure to uh, blah, 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 iTunes, blah, 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 like, blah, yeah. blah, comment. Blah. Listen more yeah. podcasts. Tell your friends. Yeah. Tell everyone. Tell everyone about Mentos. All right, we're going to get out of here. <laughs> Bye. Right. Bye.